Queen fighter number one. I'm with you, she tells King Xerxes I of Persia in his fight against the Greeks. Matching her words, she brings her ships to fight with matching tricks. She advises King Xerxes not to make his big ships fight the Greek small ships in narrow straits. Listening to his men generals instead, King Xerxes went ahead, taking the Greek space. Her last advice, the king follows as she is right. Go home to Persia safely, as which shines wins or loses, needs long, long waits. From the pink letters clue, can you guess who this queen fighter is from the ancient who's who? Introducing Artemisia the first of Caria. Queen of Harley Carnassus, an important ally of King Xerxes, she is known for her courage and brilliance in battles. Queen Fighter Number Two. As Queen of Ptolemy IV, ruler of Egypt, she is loving, fair, and fearless. In a fight against Antiochus the Great, she commands half of the army with elephants, no less. The battle seemingly hopeless, she orders the soldiers to fight for their families with a promise to each of two minas of gold as winning peace. Indeed, the war is won. Egypt is secure for two centuries until the arrival of the Roman Augustus from across the seas. From the pink letters quote, can you guess who this queen fighter is from the ancient Jews? Introducing Arsinoe III, Queen of Egypt, she is instrumental in the defeat of Antiochus the Great in the Battle of Death. Queen Fighter Number Three. With melodious voice, she can converse in nine languages and many. She is known for her wit, intelligence, and beauty. She falls in love with Mark Antony. She clearly says no to Augustus' order for Antony to go back to Italy. She fights for those whom she loves, the Egyptians, her kids, and Antony from the early beginning to eternity. From the pink letters clue, can you guess who this queen fighter is from the ancient who's who? Introducing Cleopatra, queen and last active pharaoh of Egypt. She is one of the most powerful rulers in ancient Greece.